Thank you, Bill. God is great. One person really can, bathed in their lab by God, make a difference. Dr. Blackman, come on up. Hushanji is here. Dr. Hushanji is not here. No. So you're representing also. Uh, by the way, you know they, they have a bumper sticker? Uh, you laughing. I mean, they have a lot of bumper stickers. Could be, <laughs> could be anything, right? Uh -oh. right? Dr. Blackman is like, oh, no. <laughs> the bumper sticker that I like, and I remind people if it's not on the back of my car, if you can read this, thank your teacher. And so we want to thank you because it's not only the initiative from your student, but it's guiding and directing students in a way that causes them to have knowledge that benefits. Let's give it up for Dr. Olivia Blackman. Good morning, everybody. Um, so as a professor, I don't typically use this, but I will. Um, so thank you for your patience with my three children and to believe this, uh, that's only half of my children here. So my husband came and picked them up so they wouldn't dis uh, disturb everybody. So um, I uh, am a professor at GW. Um, my role at GW is to empower um, my students to do projects like um, what uh, Ilya has done. So my focus has been STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but I specifically work with women, low income, and minorities. Um, I work with refugee communities. I send students all over the world. Um, they've been to Guatemala. They've been to Senegal. This year we'll be going to Kenya um, in June. I'm a Nashman Fellow to support um, integration of technology across the globe specifically to empower um, low-income, marginalized communities. Um, and when Ilya came to me to talk about uh, her program and what she wanted to do for her capstone, I was really um, in awe. <clears throat> so her, she came to me and she said, um, I want to work with my community. I want to be able to empower um, low-income uh, Muslim women, uh, people from refugee communities. And I said, OK, well, what's your business model going to be? And she came and she brainstormed with me. Um, Ilya came with a lot of uh, um, commitment and dedication uh, for this project. And she was very persistent. So she, like. <laughs> She's very persistent. Um, and I think, you know, when we have that kind of dedication, when we have that kind of persistence, um, that really pushes us forward. And she had a vision, and her vision was to support her community. Um, and she came to me, she did the business model, she created a sustainable program that can support this community. Um, she has won numerous awards at GW. Um, the Sure Award, she's won KSIF, which is an unpaid career internship. She's won a GW research-wide um, research program to support sustainable uh, programs in marginalized communities. So she did this as an outreach to serve her community. And her commitment, as I said, has been an inspiration to all of us. We're very excited for this. And we're very excited that our students in the service learning uh, community will continue to support this program as a sustainable program with our students to empower them to work in these kinds of communities and we're excited to, to be able to support this program next year as well. Um, so thank you so much and I thank Ilya for all of her hard work and dedication. <laughs>